Hello everyone. A good afternoon to all of you. We are at the third session of today's program. And the session of this is Women in Technology and Innovation. Innovation and Technology. To discuss this issue, we have Dr. Lofifa Jamal, Professor, Department of Robotics and Mechatronics Engineering, University of Dhaka. We have with us Alia Rafiqal, Head of IT and Business Transformation. And we have with us Sweda Nabila Mahbub, Director at Patao. Welcome to our session. So at first, I would like to invite all of you to introduce yourself to our audience. First of all, with Dr. Alia Rafiq Iqbal. Ma'am, please unmute yourself. Um, Alia, you have to unmute your mute. You have to unmute your mute. That's all I have to do. Perfect. Thanks for that. Okay, let me start over. Um, so, as uh, Yuki mentioned, I'm Alia Rafiqinho. I work for IPTC Finance Limited. Um, I have been with IPTC Finance for more than three and a half years now. Before joining IPTC, I was with City of Seattle um, in Washington, which is a a local government and uh, for a, quite a few years and before that I was with T-Mobile USA. So I started my career about more than 20 years ago uh, in the tech industry and uh, I have um, experience in various fields uh, in finance, um, government, information, um, technology development, software development uh, for the past 20 years. So it's been a long journey and I'm happy to be here today. Thank you so much. Now, I would like to invite Dr. Lofifa Jamal. Yes, Dr. Hello. Lofifa Jamal. Yes, yeah, sorry, actually, I got So, I'm Dr. Lofifa Jamal. I'm the professor of the Department of Robotics and Mechatronics Engineering, University of Dhaka. And currently, I am serving as the president of Bangladesh Women in Technology. Thank you so much, madam. Uh, now, I would like to invite Sayyidah Nabila Mahabu. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to everyone. Thank you, Beauty, for inviting me to, for giving me this opportunity to, and inviting me to uh, Women Entrepreneurship Congress 2020. It's, a, it's an utmost pleasure. I'm very honored and humbled for this. Um, hello everyone, I'm Saeeda Nabila Mahabub. I, have, I am working at Pato as the Director of Marketing and Public Relations. This is the second startup that I am associated with uh, and I've, in the last, I think more than half of my career uh, has been spent in, uh, with startups and I see that uh, the startup scenario in Bangladesh has, cha has been changing over the last five, five years. There's many more uh, students, many more young people were interested in this and they're starting their own businesses they're trying to push themselves further, further and get into entrepreneurship and it is nice to see what uh, where Bangladesh is today right now um, because of this young entrepreneurs who are coming from different parts of uh, different parts of the country and trying to prove themselves in their own field coming up with brilliant ideas and I'm sure uh, Lufu Papu and Ali Apu has seen, has been to multiple of the startup shows where uh, young stars are coming up and showing their ideas. So I think, um, you know, and uh, it's a great uh, opportunity for women and men around the country to show their talents and uh, become new entrepreneurs. And I'm really looking forward to be here and discuss more about such opportunities. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Navila. So uh, we are discussing about women in innovation and technology. So at first, I would like to know uh, that why do women need a larger role 
innovation and technology and what are the obstacles or the hindrance women are facing in this uh, digital era and what are the present scenario you are facing in our country as well so i would like to know this starting with from dr lafifa jamal maybe few technical issues. So I would like to know each same thing from uh, Ms. Ali Iqbal. Um, I think the questions that you raised, we can spend hours just discussing um, these three questions. Um, so when we talk about women in technology and um, having a larger role or a leadership role, um, we have come a long way. Uh, in terms of our, if you think about our mothers, if you think about our grandmothers, um, they didn't have the opportunity. They didn't have the, um, uh, a lot of times they didn't have the say in order to uh, which field they wanted to go to. So um, in, with that respect, uh, I feel really lucky uh, that we are at an era where um, if you talk about YouTube, if you talk about Oracle, if you talk about um, all these um, tech firms who has who, uh, CEOs, uh, female CEOs, right? Uh, Microsoft has a um, um, female CFO. Uh, we have Sheryl Sandberg at uh, Facebook. So we have um, all these role models now to look up to. So definitely women, um, they are in a much larger role nowadays. Yes. Um, however, we have, we have to go further um, and um, uh, the main question that you had was why we need a larger role. Um, we need a larger role for many reasons. Um, more women, I would say better problem solving capability, right? We women are multitaskers. Um, we are better collaborators. So in terms of now collaboration is the new innovation, right? So, and we're very good at that. Um, women are honest. And um, finally, women are, I mean, if you have women in leadership roles in an organization, um, they do better financially as well. Yes. Um, the second part of the question that you had was uh, in terms of what obstacles or hindrances we have. Um, if we think of uh, it more, um, there are several uh, obstacles I can, there are um, individual mindset, and then there's uh, institutional mindset and also the lifestyle that we choose, right? So I'll give you a, a, an interesting example. Um, and that goes up. Okay. I have a meeting. Uh, um, my business card. Um, So we can move forward to our next speaker. So we'd like to know this question answer from Dr. Lofifa Jamal. Yeah, audio, please repeat your question. I'm just, I'm just having okay, some connectivity but, issues. I'm just, yeah. <laughs> okay. So I was asking that why do women need a larger role in innovation and technology? And what are the obstacles or the hindrances face in this digital era? And you can talk about our present scenery in our country as well. So we can move forward to our next speaker, so the Nabila Mahmoud. Hi. Okay. So um, your question was why do women need a larger role in innovation, right, and technology? So I think um, women need larger role in organizations, full stop. First things first. In Bangladesh, even now, we see that um, we now we see some women in top positions, uh, like Ale Apu. Um, you know, she's at a very top position at IPC, I, uh, and there are many other women. 
I know uh, Rob Abdullah, uh, who are in very good positions. However, it's very insignificant when you compare it with men. So women need a larger role in organizations full stop. And why? Uh, firstly, because they're very responsible. They're much better multitaskers and way more cool-headed. So yes, they can handle things better. We see our moms handling 24 things at the same time and they're not going crazy completely. So yes, I think that is completely possible. Uh, the next question is what are the obstacles? I think in this digital era, the biggest obstacle for women and also to some extent uh, male, but to women mostly are the opportunities. I think there's a lot of ideas we see, not just in Dhaka, if you just look outside of Dhaka, there are many women who are trying to do something. We, we stop them from going to schools or universities at a certain age. This needs to stop. You know, we need to push them, provide more opportunities to women so that they have a place to share their ideas. Government has taken multiple, um, op um, uh, government has taken multiple um, steps, actions uh, to, to help uh, people, to help women to come out more but I think uh, individual organizations also need to do it uh, to help and support women to bring in more opportunities to create more platforms where women can come young women can come and share their ideas so definitely I think the biggest obstacle is the opportunity um, how do I evaluate the contribution of women so you know like if as, as Aliyapo was also saying like the CEO of YouTube is um, is a female the yeah, and that, um, sorry, um, um, the CEO of IBM is a, is a female, and um, the CEO of Oracle is a female, the COO of Facebook is a, uh, is a female. So look at their contributions, look at where they have, um, what they have done, and I'm not saying it's much more than male, or they've done this, or they've made a complete different society of their own, I'm just saying, Given the opportunities, I think their contribution. Given the given the little scope that women are given, the opportunity, uh, given little opportunities that they're given, what they've tried to make out of it is great. It's definitely um, it's uh, definitely commendable, and we need to give our women and women around the world much more opportunities because they're also more kind. Women tend to be much more kind and much more um, yes. sweet. So you know, yes, they yeah. they're, they're more compassionate when they're trying to do something. So yeah, I think that's my two cents on this. Thank you, thank you so much, Miss Nabila. I, now I would like to know from Dr. Lafifa Jamal. Uh, okay. So actually, I am missing all the. <laughs> Discussions for the connectivity. Kind of I don't know what what is the problem today. Anyways, uh, this time I would like to do. Uh, so actually, uh, uh, Nabila was telling uh, about some uh, uh, CEO of larger companies. I would like to mention one thing that the first programmer was a female, not female programmer. First female programmer. I'm not telling about that. I am just telling about the first programmer, Adela Blaze. Yeah. So we have that kind of example. Uh, uh, among, uh, uh, in front of us, so Ada Lovelace, uh, Margarita Hamilton, uh, Grace Hopper, and so they are our role models. And nowadays, like uh, though uh, we have the examples of uh, CEOs of big companies in front of us, but I would like to mention that uh, generally, as I am a faculty member, uh, especially now I'm in robotics and mechanical engineering, and before that. I was a faculty member of computer science and engineering. So usually, uh, in this type of engineering subject, we generally got a less number of female. Uh, in general, in STEM field, we got less number of females. But uh, this is not the scenario of Bangladesh only. This is the overall scenario of over the world. Uh, but beyond of this, uh, uh, this uh, statistic, actually, women are doing great. So actually, how we can contribute, especially in entrepreneurship and innovation. So, like we, uh, we, you, you really say that women are the mother roles. Whatever you give them, they try to make it double. So actually, we have it in, in inside us. Yeah. Okay. So like 
so when especially we go for the innovation, uh, we have to think about like uh, out of the box. We have to think out of the box. What things we can uh, bring in front of uh, of us uh, so that actually it's different from other regular activities. Now it is especially in the COVID time. Uh, we see that a lot of uh, women are actually uh, been doing business in, in, in entrepreneurship. So the number is getting bigger, but eventually, who will excel in this field? Who the, the people whose idea is innovative, who is giving something different from others, they will actually excel in future. So actually, we have to think what are the uh, service that we can offer that is not offering by others. So actually we have to think in innovative way so that my service has something which is not the general service, it has something new. Like uh, Navila is from Patau. So they started from the ride sharing, but they now they have a lot of services. So according to the need of the users, they are expanding their services. So it goes in general for all the uh, entrepreneurs. Under, under, under. Thank you so much, Dr. Lafifa. Uh, so I would like to come to Dr. Alia. That you are working at uh, as a head of IT uh, at IPDC. So how do you evaluate? What are the solution you can provide that women should be in computer technology? And how to change the social outlook for women that are in innovation and technology? Because sometimes we can see that people are saying that this is the man's job. Women cannot be in innovation and technology. So how can we change this outlook? Um, there are many things that uh, we can do. Uh, can you guys hear me well? Yes. Okay, perfect. Because uh, I lost the connection earlier, so I just want to make sure that you can hear me well. So um, uh, it's true. I mean, um, because in my position, I get to interview a lot of people, uh, men and women both, um, in, uh, because we're doing a lot of transformational projects and um, we get to hire the fresh out of college or uh, even people with experiences. What happens is that a um, lot of times, um, the, I would say the difference between men and women is that men know uh, how to get the opportunity, how to, how to grab the opportunity when there is one, um, how to ask for a promotion. Um, and so they, they get a seat at the table. Um, when it comes to women, um, we are shy about that. And I will, I will talk about in terms of um, interviews. When, uh, uh, when I'm interviewing a female uh, fresh out of college student, um, I'll ask them, okay, what's your expected salary? Uh, oh, ma'am, whatever, whatever you uh, are offering. So uh, it's just an example. And then um, I would say quite a few of my team members, when I hired them, um, uh, I'm talking about female, particularly one, and she said, oh, ma'am, uh, she started as an intern. And as she was working, I saw the potential and I said, okay, I would like to hire you um, full time. And then she says, oh, ma'am, but I don't like to code. She has a degree in computer science and engineering. And she says, I, I, I don't want to code. So that fear and shyness uh, in women that we have, uh, we have to overcome that. Um, so socially, um, uh, as we are growing up, um, the girls are uh, taught to be uh, shy, taught to be humble, taught to be um, uh, not be outspoken and all that. So, but in the real world, uh, we have to have that. Like Lafifa Abba said, um, we have we have the capability, we have the capacity to do the same job as men, um, but uh, we uh, uh, because of, I I wouldn't say that we're not given the opportunity, but we are. We have to get the opportunity. We have to work at it. We have to be uh, we have to be the leader in terms of getting it. Thank you so much. Now I would like to know in this regard from Sir Nabella. Uh, can you repeat your question, please? What is the uh, what is the advice we're going to give? Yes, to okay. break the field of computer range. Okay. Um, I think my advice would be um, very simple, actually. 
take it when it's in front of you. Yep. Yep. Just, just take it when it's in front of you. I agree a lot with Ali Appa when she says, Jay, women are shy to ask for it. So was I. You know, I thought um, I should be given whatever. You should know I've worked really hard, so why don't you say what I should be given? But that's not how the world works. The world works a little differently. We're all selfish in our own way. So uh, people are selfish, and we women are ma made to think from a very young age. If you ask something for yourself, that's bad. That's not right. And that is inbuilt in us from a very young age, right? You need to always do for others. Don't ask. If you deserve it, they'll give it to you. These are all lies. It doesn't have, operate. That's not how it operates in corporate world. So I think, yeah, um, ask for it. Fight for it. You would fight for it for your family members. You know, if you know that your husband is not uh, getting the uh, what he deserves, if, if you know your sister is not getting it, or your brother is not getting it, or your father is not, you'd go and fight for them. Fight for yourself. Um, some people are given the opportunities and then don't, then they don't take it. Some people have uh, are, don't even see the opportunity. So the people who don't even get the opportunity, that's a different fight that a country needs to fight together to provide those opportunities. But this is to the people who, this is to the women out there who are studying, going to really good universities, spending a lot of money, given the opportunities by the families to study, to learn. Please, when the right time comes, don't let it all go because you have to get married or because... <laughs> Um, you know, um, your priorities suddenly change. Grab it. Take it. Take the leap. It's good for you. It's a good example you're setting for your future, for your children as well. Um, so for me, it is just ask for it. No one will say no if you ask for it. And um, make the leap. Just fight for yourself for once. That's Thank it. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Navila. Now I want to know from Dr. Lafifa in this regard, how to change this social outlook? Yeah, so especially mainly our social uh, structural uh, barriers. That's the main, uh, I think, the uh, barriers to all the women. So the thinking, how we should act, how we should behave, everything is predefined. And whenever uh, someone is bold, so the society usually... A label it like she's aggressive, yeah, but for a for a, a male person, she is very good. She's doing her. Uh, he's very good. Yeah, he he can pursue and uh, he can say something when it's not in favor of him. So this is the main problem. So uh, there's something actually predefined. So women should be like this. Women should be doing this like this. So that are the problems. And another thing, if you go for entrepreneurship. Uh, I would like to say like one story. I'm just telling it in Bangla. I'm a student. entrepreneurship For that reason, I need some investment. And whenever I ask to my parent, that I need some investment for my entrepreneurship activities. So, Tara Dakhon bolchi kintu je tomar kichu din por biye hoye jabe. Tumi portion akoro. Then ekta job edge chole jao. Why you go for the entrepreneurship? But when the brother is entrepreneurship, then the parents are very happy to invest in the agro-hi-hoch. So I would like to also give some advice to the parents, not only the female or the uh, uh, or, or her peers, like when uh, we go to invest for our daughter. So usually we invest for their marriage. So, we have to do this. 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 We have to do our guardians. So, usually, they actually try to invest for their son, not for their daughter. And uh, another thing is that uh, nowadays actually we have a lot of opportunities. There are a lot of financial companies. Uh, from them actually the, uh, we can uh, get uh, some uh, financial opportunities also. So we have to explore for this. So how we can get the financial opportunities. I think this is a, uh, one of the uh, 
biggest barrier uh, to go for entrepreneurship uh, the investment thank you uh, so I'll, much I'll for like to, sharing such valuable i'll just valuable like to add information. something i'll just yes, like yes. to add something sorry um so talking about opportunities by the way women or men whoever are interested i think there's something uh, women need to also do is it to google khatao ha there are free courses on basic coding free courses on basic coding on on google it's so available even if you're interested to do something just go for it there are things available on google just yeah. as simple as it gets okay this is just an fyi yeah please, sorry and thank you so much now i would like to uh, know about any kind of suggestions or recommendation that you would like to say about the women entrepreneurs those who are in innovation and technology because there are some various sectors in which sectors they should focus so that they can grow themselves starting from alia okay, sure um in terms of um if you talk about industry um uh, right now uh, i would say uh, as we have passed the last uh, more than 6 months in the lockdown or in this pandemic situation um so i think uh, definitely healthcare comes to my mind uh, there are a lot of opportunities in the healthcare sector uh, uh there is a lot of opportunities in e-commerce because um again um uh, online purchases are on the rise right if you see amazon and alibaba and all that how well they are doing so these two sectors i would say definitely um would be really great to invest in uh but in general um uh, again entrepreneurship is entrepreneurship whether it's male or female an entrepreneur can uh jump into as long as you have a great idea um you can pursue the idea and just go for it Thank you Ms Alia. Now any kind of final remarks from Ms Nabila. Um congratulations to all the women out there who have actually made it possible so far. Uh you know we're so busy trying to critique ourselves we forget to sit take a step back and just be proud. Be proud of how far you have come. Uh be proud of what you've achieved against all odds. um with or without family support with or without anyone's help you know uh congratulations a big congratulations at least on behalf of me and i hope uh whatever you're planning to achieve you will and if you need any help or support there are many people around there are women around who are willing to help please ask and seek for those um just অফিস ইমেল ইমেল করলেও আমরা অনেক সময় কিন্তু জাম্প ইন করে হেল্প করার চেষ্টা করি এট লিস্ট আমি করেছি আই এম শিওর অনেকেই করেছেন সো ডু দ্যাট বাট টেক আ স্টেপ ব্যাক এন্ড জাস্ট এনজয় হাউ ফার ইউ হ্যাভ কাম কনগ্রাচুলেশন থ্যাঙ্ক ইউ সো মাচ মিস নাভিদা নাও আই উড লাইক টু মুভ ফ্রম ডক্টর বিউটি ইন রিসপেক্ট টু व्हाट নাভিদা সেড um and lafifa also was mentioning about capital uh, in terms of uh, a new entrepreneur who's trying to um Ha, uh create a new startup um uh, since i'm with ipdc i would uh, invite all of the participants or anybody who's listening to um uh, contact me if necessary because we do have uh, uh funding for women entrepreneurs um and um, i'd be happy to help yes in just few sentences can you say about the uh, the facilities you are providing from ipdc for the women entrepreneurs so we have um uh we have a, a separate product for the women entrepreneurs and uh, there is a, a in terms of the rates they are uh, depending on what kind of businesses you are um trying to invest um there is a um, uh, facilities um to provide the loan um and, and again it, it will depend on what type of uh, business you are trying to invest Okay thank you thank you thank you so much now i would like to know from dr lafifa as you are an academician and you teach technological things uh, so any final remarks for from you for the women entrepreneurs okay uh, thank you uh, at first i would like to uh, go to the previous question uh, that you were mentioning like what are the areas uh, for for which areas the entrepreneurs entrepreneurs can go for actually 
I would like to mention that actually we cannot, uh, we should not define the areas better than we should try to find out for what I am passionate for, what I would love to do, and then try to materialize this, that things. Actually, there are a lot of ideas, there are a lot of scopes, but every area is not suitable for everyone. And especially if I don't have the dream or if I don't have the desire to go to, to that uh, area, actually, it will not, it will not be suitable for me. So actually, we have to find out what I am passionate for, and we have to work hard to materialize this thing. Actually, working hard is the main criteria. So wherever you are, I am a faculty member. I am not the entrepreneur. But if I want to do good in my area, I have to work hard. As a researcher, I have to work hard. Same goes for every uh, profession. So main thing is that we have to look for the opportunities and we have to work hard. We have to have some commitments. Uh, and then actually we can excel in this area. And like as I am a faculty member, uh, so from that point of view, actually, uh, I have the opportunities. Uh, actually, I, I always feel that I'm really lucky that I always work with the uh, young minds. And for that reason, I say that I'm also uh, very much young, though my age is not that much young now. Yeah. So, yeah. so it's the opportunity to uh, work with the youth. And now, now it is actually, uh, when we were students, actually we don't have the uh, mentality uh, or the idea of entrepreneurship at that time that much. But nowadays, actually, there, there are a lot of opportunities and students are also working uh, in their startups also. So actually, if we work hard and we have the passion for that thing, actually, we can make it. Yes, thank you so much, Dr. Lafifa. Thank you all of you for joining, joining us today and sharing your valuable information. Hope we our audience have learned so many things from you. So that uh, brings the ending of our session. So the main key takeaways of our session is that definitely we'll have barriers. But what you need to do is that if we have innovative mind, if we have passion, then we can succeed. So that's all from our session. I would like to pay my thanks to all the audience, those who are watching us. Hope to see you in our next program. Thank you. Our